This is a brief overview of the process faculty can use to create and download an archive file from an original Blackboard course. So in this example course in Blackboard, I've developed some content, assessments, announcements, everything I'll need to facilitate this course. Let's say that I want to repurpose this content in another course shell. So to do this, I can create a package file that contains all of the course's content, and that's called an archive file. You can download an archive file from your course at any point in time. It won't impact the original course in any way. It's just creating a, a snapshot of the course's content at that point in time and then downloading it. Okay, so to do this, I'll go to my course's control panel, go to Packages and Utilities, and choose Export Archive Course. And if you've never used this process before, this page will be blank. What you'll do is click on Archive Course, and if you want to, you can click Calculate Size just to get a rough feel for how large this file is going to be. And then once you are ready, just click Submit. You don't have to add any other settings. You'll see this confirmation bar at the top saying the action has been queued and email has been sent when the process is complete. So you'll get an email when the archive file is ready to download from the course. And to download that file, you come back to this Export Archive Course screen through package utilities like so, and there will be a link on the page. So to download this content, roll your mouse over the blue text of the link, right click, and then go to Save Link As from the context menu. If you're successful, a window will pop up, and you will see that this type is a compressed zip folder and you can save this to a location on your computer. I prefer usually just to throw things on my desktop. So I'll go to desktop, this is the name of the file, this is the type of the file, I'll just click save to go ahead and save that. Now the larger the file is, the longer it will take to download, but because this is a generally small file, it shouldn't take very long to download at all. So if I were to go to my desktop, I'll see that here is this file that I've just downloaded. And it's important to note the contents of the file are going to be these computer programming type things that only Blackboard can read, right? So to repurpose this content, you'll have to follow the import process to add that content into another semester shell.